Hey guys, Baby Vic here, back with another video. Today, we are doing two things. We are doing a build for the Mage. This is my recommended build video for the Mage RTA from Coil Art, uh, a 24mm Moonshot-esque flavour machine. Uh, I'm going to show you how to get the most out of this. Not really. Uh, I, I'm just going to do a build in it and you can take from it what you, what you want. Um, I'm going to throw a couple of other snippets in there as well though. I'm going to be using this fuzz, uh, the new, the new new um, cotton from the Yorkshire Vapor. This is their brand new cotton range line thing from the Yorkshire Vapor. So we're going to use that um, and uh, that's going to be great. Uh, we're also going to use some of these. We're going to use Clapton wire from UD. UD. Uh, they're called wire shots and uh, you get a tube with like 10, 12 strands, 14 strands, something like that of, uh, of wire. They do twisted ones like that, that look like that, and they do Clapton ones as well that look like that, and, and all manner of things. And so we're going to we're gonna use Clapton wire from UD as well, and we're going to see how that pans out. Um, so that is that. This is the build here. Um, so yeah, so we're just going to do a build video. Uh, that is the build. We're going to go back in time and down low. Um, I should say, uh, at this point, if you haven't seen one of my build videos before, I'm not a genius builder, I'm not a gifted, skillful builder, I'm not neat, my coils don't look great, my wicking's not expert, um, I'm just a dude who vapes and builds his own stuff, and uh, so take from it what you will, but don't get cross if I'm not suddenly, you know, using a, uh, a gargoyle Clapton hoof uh, that looks amazing and it's coil pawn and all that stuff. Uh, it's just not where I'm at in my journey. Um, I like quick and easy builds uh, and I like to just get on with it and uh, get my hands dirty. So that's that. So we'll go down low and uh, see this build. When we come back up top, we're going to give one away. Uh, look, I've got a brand new one unopened to give away. I'm also going to throw in this. This is the Vaptio Ascension S150 mod. Comes with a tank, but uh, if you put the red O-rings on like this, um, I think this will look dope on this. So uh, uh, you get a mage, uh, and I think it'll look good on this mod if once you get bored of the tank that comes with. So let's go down low, and uh, I'll see you in a second after we've done uh, done the build. Okay, guys, here we are down low with the Mage RTA from uh, Coil Art. Uh, this is the packaging. This is a brand new unopened one, but don't forget I have had one for a very long time. Uh, I did a comparison video between this and the uh, Moonshot. So, very familiar with this RTA by now. So, first thing we should do is strip it apart. This is the top cap, and it's also the top fill hole underneath there. If we turn it around and unscrew this, uh, you can see it all starts falling apart. Uh, there's the bottom section, there's your glass section, and your top cap section. Uh, we can then unscrew this as well. A lot of threads on this bit, but we'll... Uh, We'll get it right off. There you go. And then we are exposed to the deck. So, looks like uh, one of those uh, one of the, one of those screws has already been unscrewed a little bit, which is nice. Uh, we'll get something to do the build on. Uh, we're also going to try some other stuff out in this video as well. We're going to try Fuzz, the new cotton from the Yorkshire Vapor. We're also going to try these. These are um, wire shots from UD. Uh, this is a Clapton. So we're going to put Claptons in here. Um, so the first thing we need is, sorry if that came across really loud, the rattling of this. Um, these tools come with Watofo atomizers and uh, I really like them. I uh, find them really handy indeed. So what we're going to do is we're going to loosen up these posts. Let's have a look here. What's going on? There we go. So it's the smaller of the two Allen keys on here that we need. Unscrew these. Nice and easy. 
improve that a bit so we've got a nice clearance so so we're going to try all these new things uh, and we're going to put a build in here uh, the target of the build is going to be for a sort of 60 watt vape I think it wicks and performs nicely around that mark that's where I sort of enjoy all my RTAs mainly unless they're a single coil RTA or heavily reduced RTA that's where I like to be at so we'll aim for around there um, so we have our um, we have our Clapton 26 gauge plus 32 gauge uh, Canthal Clapton wire from Ude. Um, so we're going to stick it in our coil winder. I'm sure you're all incredibly familiar with these now, but they do allow you to do, you know, very straight, uh, very straight, but you know, coils, you know, nice and easy. So there's uh, there's one of the coils in action. Um, I'm going to put, do the other one, and I'm going to stick these into the atomizer. Okay, guys. So now we have the coils inserted into this uh, deck. We've got our two um, six wraps each side of this uh, UD uh, Clapton wire, round a three mil drill bit. Um, the important bits to know at this point is you want to make sure you've got enough clearance over the top of those air channels, otherwise you'll get a short. Um, and uh, you need them nice and tight. And the next thing to do at this point, before bothering pinching, strumming, any of that, is just get your, your uh, barrel section and just pop it over. And just make sure that, as you can see, there's plenty of clearance and you're not in any way rubbing up against the barrel. Otherwise, it'll all be for nothing. You know, you'll have to change these coils. So save yourself some time and do that check before you even get going. Uh, next thing to do, as you can see, is coming out at 0.46, slightly higher than I would have liked. Um, but what can you do? And uh, we're, what we're going to do now is we're going to warm up these coils, get them glowing evenly. Um, you don't want to overheat them. You want you don't want to be putting this through at the temperature you're actually going to use. Turn it down quite a bit. Uh, and just do it nice and gentle. So what I do is I take the Phillips side of this tool and give it a good strum in, strum the legs, strum right across the uh, the coils. Uh, just helps eliminate any hot spots, get some firing evenly. Then what you're gonna wanna do, especially if you like them nice and neat, is you're gonna wanna pinch them together like that. Just help them get going together like that, give them a nice squeeze. Uh, and get them all neat and tidy and uh, after you've done that it is time to let them cool a little bit and set up your wicks so we are going to use this this is the brand new cotton from the Yorkshire Vapor the Yorkshire Vapor Fuzz organic cotton and it comes in this pretty little tin you get approximately a yard and uh, we're literally just going to tear a bit off like this tear a bit off like that pull We've got some there, we've got enough for two there, easily. Uh, put this back nice and neat. What I find with this fuzz um, is that it's uh, it's slightly fluffier and messier than some of the other ones, but it's incredibly absorbent, guys. Really, really good absorbency. Uh, so we're going to get two pads like this. Now these are going to turn out to be way longer than we need but I like that for messing about to start with so we have our atomizer here with our coils in I just what I do is and I don't know if this is right or wrong I just twist right up a, a section here snag off the wiggly bit put it through here pull it through you don't want it too tight you don't want it choking anything off um, anything like that and you want it fairly even at both sides so the fact that I twisted that whole bit up here made it really tight is irrelevant because I'm cutting that bit off so it helps you get it through and um, you're cutting it off so all good in my opinion um, so that's that I'm gonna do the other one and then I'm gonna do a little cut and uh, we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how to put this back together and how I finish off this wicking process see you in a sec 
Okay, so this is <laughs> this is the fun bit that we're doing right now uh, with this uh, mage. Is you've got to get that par barrel. It's got two little tiny slots on it like that, and you've got to make sure they go down right at the exact point to get this barrel section back on. After you've done that, though, uh, I've pointed it all up as you can see. The bit that goes above this channel, above this barrel, sorry, we just we just straight up don't need. That's your excess, very much your excess. Um, you really don't need half as much as you think cotton wise in there. So we're going to move these out so we can see the coils again. And then, as you can see, there's these little holes down here. We're going to push this cotton down. Down so it's loosely over those holes like that. And uh, you'll see it all coming together in a second. Okay, so you can see the coils again. We are back back to what looks sort of semi-typical. Uh, then you want to go around looking at all your hole sections here. Make sure they've all got a bit of coverage, but they don't uh, look like they've been really heavily stuffed in there. Otherwise, it's just not going to wick fast enough, to be honest with you. This is a really good time to add some juice. And uh, I am going to add grumpy custard. Uh, grumpy custard, a massive favourite of mine, and uh, I want to see how this build comes out flavour-wise. So this is a juice that I'm very, very, very used to using. So I'll be able to tell how well the flavour comes off with this build. Uh, like I say, uh, it did actually come out high, slightly higher than expected. I would have liked 0.38 rather than 0.48, but. Um, that just seems to be a feature of this uh, UD can this UD Clapton. Just seems to be higher than t traditional Clapton. I don't know if that's because they're using completely can canthal and nothing else, or some some aspect to it. But um, but uh, we're getting this nicely juiced up now. Uh, you want to get it juiced up to the point where you can almost see it juicy down there. I don't know if you can start to see that's starting to look a bit juicy. That one's starting to look a bit juicy there. Um, and that's how you know that you've got enough juice in there that it's actually getting down and uh, it's getting all the way down to the bottom of the wicks. Um, but as you can see, that was fairly fairly straightforward. Uh, what we will do now is we'll get our tank back on. Uh, this all sort of goes together in one go. So you need to put your tank back on, then this, like this, and it all just starts to screw together like that and you really don't need to do it too tight it's getting all sealed in by these o-rings um, the way the barrel chamber looks inside uh, it overlaps so it's like doubly set in there so I won't worry about that and uh, then you are left just with the top cap off which means you can uh, stuff your juice in now at this point let's fill her up like that and uh, just need to slip this top cap, top cap on and we are done. Now, what I would say is do, do not oh, t screw this cap on too tight. As soon as you get tension, that's happy days. You're absolutely fine. Don't get that cap stuck on it. Um, if you do, it'll, you know, it's really painful to get off. So uh, just as soon as you get tension, that's fine. That's enough. Uh, so we're all built up together. Um, see you up top in a second. Okay guys, that was the build for the mage. As you can see, you might see a couple of bubbles going to the top there. It is wicking away really nicely, really nicely indeed. Um, this final resistance that it's actually settled on on this mod is 0.45, and this is a DNA 200 mod, so they tend to be very accurate with resistance. Um, so that is that. Um, yeah, so the the build, um, I'm, I'm quite happy with the build, the flavor, with these Claptons is excellent. I think there's a time and a place for Clapton uh, coils. You know, I think there are a lot of things where it's not necessary or might be might make it very tricky. Certain post holes aren't big enough and all that sort of stuff. But in a flavor machine like this, a cloud-blowing flavor machine RTA, I think uh, Claptons really complement this type of tank. So I would recommend Claptons if you have them to hand. If you don't, a round wire build will be absolutely fine. Uh, so don't worry about that. You can still do the same thing. You can still do six wraps on each side of 24 gauge Canthal and you'll be absolutely fine. 
the wicking um i i really genuinely do recommend wicking it the way i wicked it uh, poke it all to the top put your barrel down uh, cut off screw the barrel right down once you've managed to fiddly get it in um, screw it right down the what the cotton that comes over the top of that barrel cut right off and so you've got a straight plane there then poke it down into each channel uh, I strongly recommend that the other ways that I've tried have been far too fiddly um, and they've ended up you know just just being too much of a hassle to do I, I genuinely recommend that method um, so that's that. Uh, in terms of the Mage, um, I have sort of reviewed this against the Moonshot. I think it's a fantastic tank. I think the Moonshot's brilliant, and I think this is brilliant as well. The one thing this has over the Moonshot is is easier to build on because uh, the deck it stays sat into the base of the tank, uh, so it, there's no messing around with putting your coils in, then attaching it to the uh, deck to the base uh, and all the fiddliness uh, the moonshot can be quite fiddly to build on whereas this is more straightforward uh, so that's that um, my only other tip would be as I said down low as soon as you've got those coils in and they're nice and tight and all clipped up uh, do just check that the barrel has put the barrel in place and just make sure that uh, there's room this space between the barrel edge and the coils otherwise you're gonna get a shot you're gonna have to start all over again so there's no point heating them up and tidying them up and neating them up and wicking them just to find out the barrel shorts it you know so bear that in mind the only other thing I would say is um, this drip tip uh, the drip tip unscrews completely uh, to make the top fill uh, I recommend not tightening this too much otherwise you might have trouble getting it off because it gets a bit slippy and a bit smooth uh, and there's absolutely no benefit at all to getting it really tight as soon as you get tension tiny bit more and you're done um, so that is that uh, let's give something away uh, ha, 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 ha. the mage RTA I have a brand new unopened one from coil art thank you to them if you want to find out more about um, about this tank uh, then go along to a f at official Coil Art on Twitter and Instagram and all that stuff, uh, coilart.com website and all that goodness. Um, but yeah, so you can win one of these. And I'm also going to throw in as well one of these, uh, the, the black and red one, which I think will match it quite nicely. Uh, this is an Ascension S150 from Vaptio. Go to vaptio.com to check this out. I have reviewed it as well, so you can go back and have a look at that. Uh, so mod that comes with the tank, but also I'm going to throw in this mage as well. Um, so to win this, this is not a giveaway; it's a competition. Um, what um, to win? What you need to do is email me cd underscore v1ck at hotmail dot com. Um, title the email mage rta. Uh, inside the body of the email, I want you to put um, your name and address and the answer to this question. What is the diameter of the Mage RTA? Uh, what is the diameter of the Mage RTA? Put that as in the body of the email with your name and address, and uh, you could win this stuff. Um, so I hope that's all okay. I hope the build was all right. Um, Fuzz from the Yorkshire Vapor is awesome. Um, UD's Clapton Wire. If you want cheap Clapton wire uh, that does a good job but isn't the best in the world ever, then it's then it, it's all right. It's really good. Pick up a tube and have a play with it. Um, it's no substitute for making your own cla uh, Clapton wire, uh, but that's not something I can be asked doing. Uh, and there's also that I would say there are even better clapton wires out there but you do have to pay a premium for those the ones that are expertly wrapped by coil geniuses um, so it's a nice stopgap in between making your own and spending a fortune they're right in the middle the, the ud ones so they're good and fuzz by the archer vapor yeah is a very very whoops a very very nice cotton indeed um, so that's that that's everything I hope this video was in some way entertaining or informative or something uh, at least if nothing else you'll win that stuff uh, so email me get on the blower and uh, give us a bell uh, I've been Vic and I'll see you again soon bye bye